Just a few days ago, I met the Qualcomm uh, boss. He was in India. Right. Uh, and one of the interesting things that he spoke about was the fact that this global semiconductor shortage mm. seems to be easing. Mm. Uh, what's your sense? Because I have realized that semiconductors have now moved outside of drawing rooms to other people. They're saying, Gadi delay ho mm. semiconductor issue. No, so, that's, so I think the sem- we were, our semiconductor ambitions and our vision and our goal of our Prime Minister was never aimed at the short term issues of the supply chain disruptions of 2020, 2021 on semiconductors and electronics. So that was not our play at all. The Honorable Prime Minister's vision of semiconductors is is a much more deeper view which he articulated in February 2022 at the World Economic Forum. He understood in 2021 that the global value chains, the supply chains around electronics and semiconductors are shifting. And into those supply chains, a new ask from the consuming nations of the world was emerging. The ask is of trusted value chains, trusted supply chains. And I think India's position is a position that addresses the need for the world to have trusted value chains in electronics and semiconductors. We have established over the last two decades that we are trusted partners in most things, technology services. Mm. We are now demonstrating in the last four years our serious momentum in electronics manufacturing. And as you know, just in the month of September, the first time in the history of India, we have exported $1 billion of electronics in one month alone, one month. in September 2022. Wow. So our momentum on that, and we want to get to $300 billion in 2025, that's the target the Honorable Prime Minister has given us, of which $120 billion will be exports. Just understand this, that in 2014, we had zero exports in electronics, and in 2025, we will do $120 billion. In 2014, we imported 90% of all handsets made in India. And in 2022, we manufactured 97% of our handsets consumed in India. That is, in a sense, fueling our ambition and making us reimagine our future. So in that context, semiconductor manufacture, semiconductor design, innovation, and the company you mentioned, Qualcomm, recently celebrated its 100th device design in India the 100th tape out of devices that they have designed in India. So if Qualcomm is doing it and other companies like Intel, AMD uh, and so many other companies in the country are doing it, I think there is a a strong argument that that momentum, that talent can be now harnessed to creating a significant presence for India in the global value chains of semiconductors in manufacturing, in testing and designing devices of the future. So that is where we are. That is our position. That is our sweet spot. And uh, it is not in competition to the US or Europe or Japan or Korea. I think we have identified our own uh, destiny and journey. And it is a it is a it is a journey that we will certainly be fulfilling over the coming years. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.